how are Hello. you? I am great. Good. Thank Getting ready for holidays and you know. Yes, yes, yes. Holiday action. I yesterday I spent most of the day baking holiday cookies. Well, what a great segue. I mean, come on, seriously. Now, I have to say, who doesn't love a good holiday romance? But hello, throwing in some baking? I mean, no brainer? I mean, it's how more holidays can you get? I mean, this movie was adorable. Yannick, you and Yannick had that great chemistry. I just loved it. But your character, like, I, I, she's so lovable. There's nothing not to not like about her. It must have had so much fun working on this. <laughs> Oh, it was, yeah, it was so magical. It was a dream come true. I loved every day. I am, um, I'm big on gratitude. So every morning, you know, I said my thanks, my gratitudes, because I love working. And obviously, yeah. it was my first lead. So it was kind of everything I had been working up towards. And yeah, every, every day was full of joy for me. Yeah, I was going to ask about that, because um, you're pretty much in almost every scene. Like there was, you know, was there a little bit of pressure there on you? And I mean, not that you're not amazing and you couldn't handle it. It's about what you're saying. It's your, your first lead. There, There's a lot going on, you know? Actually, it's really interesting that you bring that up. Just, you know, since I am, you know, blessed to be in a lot of MOWs and reading yes. a lot of MOW scripts, um, usually the kind of, you know, second lead has a little more of a B plot away from the main lead. Uh, and all the B plot I was in. So I, I was actually in every scene, but I think it's two or three, which is very rare. Yeah. Usually a few more scenes that say like the leading lady's not in. Yeah. So um, yeah, it was definitely the most work I'd ever done, but you know, I welcomed it with open arms and, yeah. you know, for me, I, I do get really nervous and um one of my big things that I do when I am really nervous is I just over prepare because I know um, to be yeah. my best, to be my best self on set is to really know the lines like 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 the back of my hand. So yeah. I knew the whole movie off by heart before we went to camera. That wow. Was just, I mean, I was just really nervous and I was yeah. definitely you know intimidated by a lot of the magical you know canadian legends that are in the movie and i there are to, yes yeah, i yeah. wanted to bring my a game i wanted to be the best i could be i wanted to be ever present and i didn't want to be like worrying about the lines well i you know i don't think you had to you know be that crazy yet but i understand i understand i i, I do the same thing i always over prepare for you know always so I, i'm in the same league as that but you know let's talk about some of, well first of all before we talk about the canadian legends i have to know how much gingerbread was consumed on this set i ate a lot of baked goods <laughs> i did um the uh i i don't do well with a lot of dairy or gluten Oh no, um, oh no. <laughs> so they they went and bought me special, like gluten-free, dairy-free baked goods, like all of them. Literally everything I consume in the movie is gluten-free and dairy-free because nice. you know you eat a lot of it. It's not like yeah. I'm just eating one bite. Even, even though it looks like one bite in the in the movie, you know, yeah. you're doing all the different several takes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Several, yeah. several takes. So yeah, I very much appreciated being able to eat all of them because it's, you know, not always the case. Yeah, for sure. I know. I don't know if I would have been able to, like, if I was ever making a baking movie, I'd be like, oh my goodness, I've got to stop. Like, you know, it's, but then again too, if there's, if it's overload, you kind of have your taste and you're kind of like, okay, I'm done. You know, sometimes yeah. that happens too, right? You know, when there's, okay, I, I've had enough, mm -hmm. I get it. Um, but working with this cast, oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's start with Yannick because obviously, I mean, come on, Mr. Murdoch Mystery. I mean, hello, like a legend, Canadian legend, but not only is your co-star, he's your director. So what was that like? Well, as I said, I was definitely intimidated by um, Yannick and Colin, for mm. sure. Oh, um, Colin. Oh yeah, so great. Uh, we'll we'll get to him after. Yeah, we will get yeah. to him. Let's talk Yannick first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I very much appreciated. So the production company that did the movie Vortex, shout out Vortex, they had organized us to meet before we went to camera, and I very, very much appreciated that because I'd never met him. I didn't know his vibes or his energy, and yeah, he was very, very welcoming. Um, yeah. The minute I got 
I met him. So it kind of put me a lot more at ease because sometimes, a lot of times, um, you know, you're meeting a lot of these people for the first time on set. Right. And, you know, I am my most nervous and uncomfortable with the unknown, as you know, a lot of people are. Yeah. And so I had already met Yannick um, going into shooting, which, yeah, I think was, I think is what every, you know, movie should do. So, but yeah, he was a joy. Um, he definitely, uh, you know, I could tell when he was directing, I could tell when he was acting. And then there was definitely a few moments where I could tell he was kind of acting and directing in his head at the same right. time. So right. like sometimes in the middle of a take, I could just see his eyes moving and I'd be like, just give me the note. Like, just tell me because, you know, his brain was like, okay, you know, next take, I want to tell Corey to like, you know, change this up or whatever, you know, say this or don't do that so quickly or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it was, it was, um, it was the first time actually that I'd ever worked with, um, a lead that also was the director so it was it was new for me but I I loved it and you know it definitely planted the seed in my own brain like I definitely want to direct now too for sure 100 yeah. you know um oh I'm good for you yeah yeah I'm a lady that you know wants to do it all and I've always kind of created my own opportunities so I definitely yeah. want to write and direct in like the next few years that's definitely going to be something that I make happen oh awesome no, that's yeah. awesome. But I, I would think too, because he's such a seasoned actor, it would help being a director because you, you know, you inherently know what you would want your director to tell you. So you, I would think, use that with the cast. Oh yeah. I, I very much like actors that are directors because they know, you know, what it takes to get, you know, a certain performance out, I think a little differently than, you know, a traditional director and, you know, right actors want to look good so yeah. you know they definitely know how to you know set up shots and light in a certain way <laughs> um so yeah I definitely as I said I, I it's definitely planted the seed in my brain that I also want to direct for sure that, that's awesome okay next up Jane Eastwood uh, oh, really? like whoa another no. one I know I like I knew of her going into shooting, but I actually didn't quite fully understand Stan. I didn't quite fully understand how magical and yeah. talented she was. I she oh my gosh. On one of the first days she showed me, she's a, a brilliant artist. I don't know if you also yes, know it. I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She showed me some of her art and I was like, like mind blowingly good. Yeah. I was like, and she lives in Hamilton now. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a Hamilton local. So getting to set for her was, you know, pretty easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> very, very easy. Um, and then, you know, Deb and Colin, I mean, but Colin, I've been to read him so many times over the years. He's the, the nicest guy in the world, but man, is he ever hilarious. How oh. He's like, oh. delivery. He doesn't even have to say something funny, but it's funny, you know? Again, the fact that they got to play husband and wife in the movie. And again, I knew of her, but like, she's just as magical and hilarious as Colin. Um, I was obviously a big fan of Colin. Um, I was the most excited to, you know, do our scenes. Uh, he's just so funny. Oh my gosh. And like, I don't understand the comedian brain. You know, every take was different. Yeah. Every take he would just ad lib some crazy stuff. I definitely, I cried. I remember do, it, during his coverage because I was trying to hold in my laughter and I couldn't obviously make any sounds. It was just like looking like a crazy person off camera. Yeah. But he is so amazing. He deserves all the flowers. And um, I recently just saw the movie and I am so happy that they left in a lot of his ad libs because I was, I was worried you know, because usually the MOW space is quite safe. Yeah. But uh, they left in a few things that definitely will make you laugh out loud. Oh, a hundred percent. I yeah, he cracks me up like no question about it. And and, and that's what he does best, like that ad lib stuff. You know, so it's great. Yeah. That, yeah I mean, when you have a director like Yannick, and he, he he's he knows who he's hiring. You yes. Know? So well, and they're good friends. So yeah. like the joy, the joy of them being together, also like was awesome you know you could just feel it in the air and we would be all the crew members would be chuckling behind 
behind the scenes as well. And Colin was just, he literally, Yannick was like, just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> like, nice. yeah. Yeah. Nice. I, you know, I was wondering when you're working on something like this, um, as opposed to, I mean, you've done, you know, these movie of the weeks and these romance stuff and things feeling on set when you're working on, you know, just something so joyful, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's no heavy handedness to it. It's a Christmas movie. It's baking. Uh, it's like, what is it like on a set like this, as opposed to something a little bit more serious? You know, I would think that you just, you said, I know you were nervous just because you were, it was your first yeah. lead and all that. And, and trust me, it didn't show you did a great job, but it, it you got to come in with a little bit of a, like little sense of relief, I would think too. I love the MOW space. My mom calls them romance novels and they totally are. I was like, oh my God, they are romance novels. It is, it's light, it's joyful. You know, there isn't as much pressure in a certain way in terms of like the depth of the scene, you know, when you're in like a horror movie and you've got to show so many like complex emotions and cry and die or something. <laughs> like it's just a lot more, um, leg work in terms of like the different emotions right. so i just yeah i love the mow space it's just so fun it's just yeah. so cool like going to set every day is just awesome you know yeah. yeah so yeah it definitely from my experience like all the mows i've done like it's just a joy and you know a lot of people that are attracted to the space are attracted because they love the genre and yeah. just like so, and I think that shows too, you know, when you see a movie and you can tell someone genuinely like loves what they do, it, I think it does come across the screen. Absolutely, it does. So, um, so what's happening with you next after this? Do we have some things coming up after this? I, as I was saying, so the last couple of months I've actually been diving into writing because right. I definitely, you know, as I was saying, I definitely have created a lot of opportunities for myself. And, um, you know, when things are slow, I, you know, I'm out there hustling. So Good. I definitely, yeah. So I've been focusing the last couple of months. I've actually kind of stepped back from, you know, going for as many auditions and um, focusing on what's next. You know, as I said, I want to write. Yeah. Um, I have a brand new song in the movie and the yes, first movie, yes, I was going to say yeah. that. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly yeah. feels like Christmas out now. Um, so that was a definite bucket list moment, but it just really reignited my love of being able to do both at the mm. same time. You know, my first uh, lead in a series, I, I was a singer and an actor in the show, yeah. like, like what I did. And it really planted that seed again. So the first movie I'm writing is a musical. Good. So Very I've been nice. focusing. Yeah, yeah. So I've been really, really focusing the last actually couple of months on finishing the music because that's for me, you know, because there's a lot of songs in a musical that, you know, yeah. I didn't realize there were so many. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a lot of, and, you know, I want the songs to be great. So I've been really focusing on writing um, the songs for that first. Oh, good. Well, I will look forward to that for sure. I'm a big musical gal. So that, that, oh. that's right up my alley. So that's awesome. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time today. I really, really appreciate it, Corey. You did a really lovely job in this film. And it's like, it was yes. so heartwarming and it made me very hungry. So, you know, I had to keep away from the fridge. But other than that, I'm all good. <laughs> love that. Love that review. Keep away from the fridge, but you're going to be hungry. There you go. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank really you. Thank you and so happy much. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yes. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks, Angie. Thank you. you bye, Bonnie. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.